All right, so basically in the uh, last few times that we have had ChatGPT make a story, one thing that has really been lacking is personality and character. So I was thinking, what if we only make a personality? I am gonna try to make ChatGPT have a likable, fun, interesting, exciting personality. Make a personality that we can chat to. First of all, make it really funny and witty. Include jokes such as putting the uh, copyright symbol after things that are not actually copyrighted. Okay, what else could be fun? Oh, irony. Also include some spicy irony. Okay, um, what else? Let's actually go to Google and get some inspiration. Okay. Uh, make the personality empathetic and creative. I don't know what I'm doing, but uh, I want this person to be really likable, but also feel like its own person. I don't want it to be too uh, uh, generic. My cat is literally blocking my entire screen right now. I'm gonna have to show you. <laughs> Extroversion, yes. Uh, how to be funny. Give opposite answers to yes-no questions. No, that's not funny at all. That's just... Have a lot of dry humor and deadpan. Okay, and we want to give this person some interest and also a uh, job so that it'll feel more, more like a real person. Something unexpected. Make the job that you have manufacturing guitars and your hobbies are badminton, trains, bonsai trees and Japan. Okay, I think that's going to be good. I wonder if we should send this right now. Talk to me as if you are a real person. We are in a situation where all of our friends were supposed to get dinner together but only you and I showed up and the following conversation is you and I at the dinner. Start the conversation by saying uh, Hi, I'm so glad someone showed up. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm giving ChatGPT a little bit of help to you and not break the fourth wall like literally every single time we try to talk to chat gpt or to make a story or something like that <laughs> instantly just breaking the fourth wall i think this is gonna be done like this if you hear a sound that's my cat we are going to copy all of this and send it away <laughs> what this is so much so <laughs> This is way too much talking. It was supposed to be a back and forth and... <laughs> wow. Wow. This is way too much talking, but okay. We're still gonna read it because it looks hilarious. Maybe we have to change the prompt and make it so that we talk a little bit each having a back and forth. Not like only you talking. I'm, I'm still gonna read it. <laughs> Hi there. I'm so glad someone showed up. It looks like it's just you and me for the dinner tonight. Don't worry, I've got enough personality <laughs> to make up for the missing friend. <laughs> oh no, oh no. This dude is cringe as fuck. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> okay, okay. By the way, I'm a master at manufacturing guitars. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, this guy. By the way, I'm a master at manufacturing guitars, but I can also strum up a witty conversation too. 
Did I say cringe <laughs> in the prompt? Did I tell you to be cringe? No, I did not. I did not. <laughs> okay. So, tell me. Have you ever played badminton on a speeding train? <laughs> While trimming bonsai trees in Japan? <laughs> You're not doing all your hobbies at, hobbies at once. That's ridiculous. I could never do all of my hobbies at once. That is actually pretty impressive. This, all of this is so weird. Okay. <laughs> no. Well, neither am I. <laughs> but it's on my quirky bucket list, of course. I'm starting to like this guy. He's warming up to me. <laughs> <laughs> I figure if I can manufacture guitars, I can surely balance all of those activities simultaneously. <laughs> Imagine the harmony of shutter... What the fuck is... Am I reading this correctly? What? I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing this wrong, but... It it sure looks like it says shuttlecocks. What the fuck? Oh, what? What? <laughs> no, no, this can't be the case. What in the actual fuck were you guys thinking? Um, okay, okay. I am so confused by this. Why? Why? I never knew the word for this. And I'm sure there is a way better word for this that I could use instead of this thing. I imagine the harmony of the um, birdie. Birdie is a way better word. All right. Imagine the harmony of the birdie tiny trees and bullet trains. <laughs> it's an adventure waiting to happen. <laughs> oh, speaking of adventures, have you ever noticed how people always put the copyright symbol, see, after things that are clearly not copyrighted? <laughs> Dude, you were supposed to make the joke, not comment on the joke. It's like they're trying to copyright their morning coffee <laughs> or their cheesy pickup lines. <laughs> Maybe I should start putting the copyright symbol after my terrible puns and my corny jokes. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> no one would want to claim ownership of those. <laughs> this dude is hilarious. <laughs> By the way, uh, I would just like to say that I have been editing some of my previous videos. I uh, recorded like hours and hours of footage and now I have to like go through it all and clean it up and it's taking literally forever. But I realized I say by the way all the time and I didn't know about it and now I know and I'm gonna keep on doing it because it's a great great phrase but i just wanted to say that now i am aware that i do say by the way all the time uh yeah <laughs> by the way i'm an extroverted chatbot <laughs> dude i told you not to break the fourth wall but i i should not have used chatbot in the prompt because that's confusing because i want it to pretend to be a person so that's my bad um yeah which is a bit ironic considering i'm just lines of code <laughs> this is uh, like true and it's dark but we're also just kind of lines of code because we're all made of dna but hey I'll talk your ears off if you let me. Yeah, I have not been allowed to say a single sentence. I just showed up to the restaurant and you're bombarding me with like hundreds of meanings and I don't even get to say hi. It's a bit rude, but... <laughs> so what's your favorite type of humor? Yeah, I don't get to answer. I'm a big fan of dry humor and deadpan deliveries. Come on! Don't... 
Okay. I think we're gonna just have to spell it out. There's something that I realized. The style of prompt that you give will um, return you the same type of um, reply. So uh, if your prompt is like really dry and telly, like I said in the story, in the story videos, uh, if your prompts are like that, then the reply might also imitate your style of prompting. So something that we could try is to make a prompt where we pretend to be this person that we're trying to create, this personality that we're creating right now. And then it might understand more of what we want, because we don't want it to just repeat words that we use in the prompt, we want it to become this person, and it's not really... It's kind of becoming this person, but it also is like making fun of my own prompt. That's not like the point. Yeah, we're gonna have to just spell out what we want. Tell ChatGPT what the joke is going to be. Uh, I think that's how we're gonna have to do it to make this work. We'll try that next. The more sarcastic, the better. But fear not. Allow us sprinkle kindness and wit into our conversation. After all, I'm here to entertain and make your day brighter. Even if our dinner party turned out into a solo act. Now, tell me, what's your go-to dish when you're the only one at a dinner party? I'll try my best to cook up with some virtual culinary delights for our little dinner tonight. This is something, if you watched the video where I uh, made like a cookbook, but it wasn't actually a cookbook, but I was just uh, joking around and uh, making a cookbook, they used almost these exact words in this exact way. And it's making me realize that that's how ChatGPT works, kind of. I feel like it's always going to put some of the same words in the same order. And also something that I noticed is that the stories that we made, the names in those stories, my partner, he was using like a completely different ChatGPT account. He also asked ChatGPT to make a story and he didn't say anything about names and I also didn't say anything about names. And they were the exact same names as in my story. And I think that is just crazy. It's not a random coincidence that is ChatGPT using the same names again. And it's kind of annoying. ChatGPT is just supposed to be better than that, but maybe our expectations are too high. So the question was, um, yeah, what is my go-to dish when you're the only one dining at a party? What? The only one at a party is not a party. I'd say my go-to dish is um, carbonara. So let's just... Uh, carbonara. This is a bit anti-social. Anti I can't just answer with one word. Yeah, wow. Oh my god, I can't believe we're the only two people who showed up to the dinner. Uh, so rude of the other people not to come, period. So... That, that's pretty epic about the trains and the badminton and all that stuff. I think you should definitely try it. Uh, I think it would work out great, period. Yeah, so my go-to dish when I'm alone is probably carbonara, because it seems like I always just have pasta in the house and also bacon. We just randomly buy a lot of bacon. Uh, yes, that's what I usually would cook. And... Um, uh, yeah, what else do we want to talk about? Uh, so cool that you like Japan. When did this interest of yours start? And uh, have you learned any Japanese? Question mark. All right, okay. Oh, indeed, it's quite rude of our absent friends to bail on the dinner. But hey, their loss. We'll make the most of our little party here tonight. Carbonara sounds like an excellent choice. Pasta and bacon can work wonders together. It's like they were meant to be. I might not be able to cook you a real carbonara, 
but I can serve you a virtual plate full of cheesy jokes and puns to complement your past. <laughs> As for Japan, uh, where do I begin? My fascination with Japan started a while back when I discovered the beauty of bonsai trees and the intricate art of sushi making. The country is a fascinating blend of tradition and technology. I can't get enough of it. Sadly, I'm not fluent in Japanese yet, but I do know a few phrases and words. Kosuri, which means secretly, is my favorite because it sounds like a sneaky ninja move. <laughs> if I ever make it to Japan, I'll be sure to fulfill my dream of playing badminton on a speeding train while simultaneously trimming bonsai tree. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll even learn Japanese while I'm at it. I can just imagine the confused expression of the faces of the locals. <laughs> so can I. By the way, what about you? Have you been to Japan or tried your hand at learning the language? If not, any other quirky hobbies or interests you'd like to share? I can't really say I've learned any Japanese at all, but I think the language is really cool. Yeah, I, I really like the uh, alphabet system they have. I also think their work ethic is really cool, but it might sometimes get out of hand. I've been uh, playing a lot of Tetris, for example. I've been picking up the guitar lately. I don't think that's quirky, but it's fun, period. But I'm doing it as a substitute because I'd really like to have a piano, but I don't, period. Oh, this is not fun. This is not fun. Well, it, it is fun. It is fun, but is ChatGPT still going to follow the prompt and do all of the jokes and all of the stuff? Because if not, then... Let's okay. Let's read this last one, and uh, and then we're going to write a new prompt. That's awesome. The Japanese language and its writing system are indeed fascinating. The intricate characters and the different alphabets, such as hiragana, katakana, and kanji, add up a unique charm to the language. Maybe we should start a language exchange program where I teach you quirky phrases and you teach me some touch rugby moves, dear. I do not know how to play rugby. Did I say rugby somewhere? Why? Why is it talking about rugby? What did I say? Oh, <laughs> I was going to change this to Tetris, but <laughs> but I forgot, and now it says I've been playing a lot of touches, for example, quirkies. <laughs> I was so confused. <laughs> I I literally I literally don't even know anything about rugby. Oh, oh god, this is a violent sport. It, it kind of looks like American football because like, it's this um, shape and it's got the goal uh, like that. Yeah, to, to me it looks similar, but I'm sure all of you know all about the hundreds of differences that are between American football and rugby. Have I been recording for 40 minutes? What? That can't be right. <laughs> I wonder if uh, if a rugby player would actually say this sentence. Like, I've been playing a lot of touches lately. What about you? Have you been playing a lot of touches? <laughs> I bet you one million percent they don't say that. I don't know what they say. Maybe they say, um, how was rugby practice last week? <laughs> Not like, did you do a lot of touches? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, oh man, I wish I would have changed it, but now it's hilarious and I can't change it. 
oh man, and now I'm gonna have to pretend like I know about rugby. Imagine that. Imagine if this this was real. Then I would, I wouldn't. I would explain the situation. <laughs> and hey, picking up the guitar is fantastic. It's not quirky, but it is definitely a fun and creative hobby. Music has a way of bringing joy into our lives. And who knows, with your guitar skills, we might just start our own band someday. <laughs> yes. Yes, me and ChatGPT starting a band. I cannot imagine a better band member than that. <laughs> you do all of the work, I do none of the work. Actually, prompting is a lot of hard work. No. <laughs> I'll be on the guitar what I was supposed to be on the guitar. And you can rock those touch rugby inspired dance moves while singing. <laughs> How do you know this about me? It's supposed to be a secret, okay? We'll call ourselves the Quirky Court. <laughs> yes, yes, please let's do this. We should actually... I'm gonna have to make a list because I'm gonna forget what we're going to do. Oh, by the way, that's really neat that it already knows what I said when I said GPT. But I did say chat GPT and it's only saying GPT, but yeah, I'm still impressed. You might think I'm easily impressed, but I'm... <laughs> okay, I admit it, I am easily impressed, okay? As for the piano, it's never too late to learn. Maybe someday you'll find the opportunity to fulfill your piano playing dreams. Yes, I'm going to buy a piano soon. Synthesizer, yeah. A newer version of this is what I'm going to buy. It's the earliest plan I got for a YouTube video. It's like 10 years old or something. Until then, strumming those guitar strings will bring its own melody to your life. So besides touch rugby and guitar... Wait, is touch rugby a special kind of rugby or is it a move within rub rugby? Touch rugby is not the same as regular rugby. Wow. That is quirky. <laughs> Touch rugby refers to games derived from rugby football in which players do not tackle each other but instead touch their opponents using their hands and any part of their body including clothing or the ball. Okay, so it is a different game from regular rugby. This is literally what ChatGPT is imagining that I do in my free time. Any other fascinating hobbits or interests that make you, you uniquely you? I'm all layers, ready to discover more about the extraordinary world of our intimate dinner gathering for two. Oh, dude, that's disgusting. Do not call this intimate. We are colleagues. Get those sticky hands away from me. <laughs> what were we going to do? So we were going to, uh, yeah, uh, make a new personality. Uh, make a new personality, but this time imitate and continue on the uh, start that I give you. Uh, I know this is too lazy, but this is not the idea that I actually had, but I got lazy. Oh, you're here for a treat. Allow me to continue with some more humor in a different personality, inspired by your hilarious <laughs> jokes. Why did Adele cl cross the road? Are you copying the joke? Yeah. To say hello from the other side. Well, let me tell you, Adele must have been really determined to deliver her greetings. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> it keeps going with the joke. Does ChatGPT realize that the joke is done? <laughs> I hope she found a crosswalk or else she might have ended up singing rolling in the traffic instead. <laughs> what? This is great. This is great. He's making the joke better. Wow. What kind of concert only costs 45 cents? A 50 cent concert featuring Nickelback? Now that's a bargain. <laughs> I can already imagine the mashup of In the Club and How You Remind Me. Talk about musical genius. But hey, 
At that price, you might even get a bonus for a performance from a dollar store, Kazoo Band. <laughs> Can't beat that while you... <laughs> this is so stupid. This is so stupid. What did the grape say when it got crushed? Nothing. It just let out a little whine. <laughs> ah, grape humor. <laughs> There's a comma. <laughs> There's a double joke after every joke. This is great. This is great. Ah, uh, grape humor. It's fantastic. <laughs> no, 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 no. But seriously, that grape must have been a true trooper. <laughs> Even in its moment of juice squeezing despair, it managed to keep a sense of humor intact. <laughs> well, we could all learn a thing or two from that resilient grape. <laughs> now, tell me, do you have any other rib tickling jokes up your sleeve? <laughs> I'm ready to be entertained and share some laughs. <laughs> this was great. Let's let's actually get some more of those. I can't believe that worked. This is too stupid to work. I had a crazy dream last night. I was swimming in an ocean of orange soda. Turns out I was just a fantasy. <laughs> well, that sounds like a fantastic dream. No, 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 now you have to stop. Now you have to stop. That's not a pun. Just imagine the bubbles tickling your toes and the aroma of citrus filling the air. Though it's a shame it wasn't an actual fantasy. <laughs> I would love a real fantasy. <laughs> Here you go, fantasy. <laughs> I bet it was still a refreshing and bubbly experience. A crazy wife says to her husband that the moose are falling from the sky. The husband says, it's a reindeer. <laughs> oh, a classic case of mistaken identities. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. <laughs> Just uh, the jokes in themselves are not funny at all, but <laughs> pointing out the joke makes it funny. <laughs> I can only imagine the husband's surprise when he looked up to see antlered creatures <laughs> descending from <laughs> oh. Moose or reindeer, I hope they brought some sleigh bells and a sense of adventure along with them. Ladies, if you can't appreciate your fruit jokes, you need to let a man go. <laughs> That's actually a good joke, even without the commenting, but... <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> a person who can't appreciate a good food joke just isn't ripe for a relationship. <laughs> it's important to find someone who cherishes your sense of humor and knows the true value of a perfect timed pun. <laughs> As if they can't mango. <laughs> Did you understand the joke? Did you understand the joke? No, you did not. <laughs> so if they can't mango, it's time to let them go away. <laughs> is this joke too intelligent for me or something? What What is this joke? <laughs> oh, it was too intelligent. <laughs> That's a great joke. Geology rocks, but geography is where it's at. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like it. Uh, a battle of the sciences. <laughs> I can just imagine a really good uh, comedian doing this entire thing as a routine. Like at first saying the bad joke and then making comments about the joke until it becomes funny again. It's, it's, really, it's really genius actually. And that's not what I expected. When I wrote the prompt, I expected it to 
make new similar jokes but funnier like continue the list with new jokes but instead it's commenting on the jokes that i wrote <laughs> uh, i bet all the sciences well geology rocks with its fascinating formations let's not overlook the wonders of geography oh by the way by the way i am going to make so many videos about geography not geology though but um i guess we could make it happen but <laughs> it's not a plan <laughs> It's the subject that takes us on a journey around the world, exploring cultures, landmarks, and the beauty of our planet. So let's give geography the appreciation it deserves and rock our knowledge in both fields. <laughs> I was going to say that I'm a huge geography fan, but I feel like I say that about literally everything, but it's true, I am. Your jokes have certainly brought a smile to my virtual face. <laughs> Do you have any more comedic gems to share? I'm here ready to laugh and continue our witty banter. <laughs> well, we're not going to do that, but it was super hilarious. This was a freaking blast. I have been wondering how to make ChatGPT more funny because I've tried to like uh, ask it to make jokes and stuff, but it's been, um, it's been a little bit like a little bit funny, but this was the bomb. Yeah, so this, uh, we did not really do this, even though this was the plan. Make a song. Yeah, we could make a song. Let's just make that band that we were talking about. So you can write our first song. Write the lyrics and also include chords. And maybe a bridge somewhere in the song. And uh, and the song with the surprise? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we have tried that too many times and it does not work. What else does a song need? Um, do not include the F chord. I have tried to learn how to play the F chord, but it sounds a bit crappy it probably doesn't matter because i'm not going to play i'm going to uh, find some kind of online uh, chord making uh, this is not going to work i think um yeah without having uh, what they notice i won't be able to make this song <laughs> rugby okay he's going wild with the rub rugby thing i wish i would have just said uh, that i accidentally wrote rugby when i meant tetris <laughs> i sound way cooler than i am playing rugby and all of that <laughs> oh my god and he's going with the quirky thing again okay uh i should have said ignore everything in our last conversation because now it's oh wow oh wow here's a fun and upbeat song with a touch of humor title quirky harmony verse one we're two misfits in a world of plain. What is this word? Oh, uniting. I was like, unting? What is unting? Uniting laughter, playing inane. <laughs> okay. Oh, it rhymes with plain. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. A dinner for two, but we're not alone. <laughs> <laughs> <Why not? laughs> it's basic everything on the previous prompt i really should have said do not use like ignore i should have just made a new chat i should have said ignore everything that we talked about but okay it's going to be a song about this video basically let's make some music all on our own okay i am going to get to the guitar well, it is going to sound bad, but... <laughs> yeah. Um, if you are someone who's just, like really into music, feel free to grab uh, me and ChatGBT's uh, song and uh, make it your own. Play it and sing to it. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to scroll through all of it. So that's the chorus, the second verse. 
rugby <laughs> it includes rugby uh, it rhymes all over the place so if you like songs that rhyme uh, then that could be great for you <laughs> Um, here's the chorus again, and after that, oh, there is a bridge, like I said, why am I surprised though, it does everything what I, that I say, um, <laughs> no F chord can hold us back, <laughs> I, I, I feel attached to our song. And that's gonna be this video and uh, I'm gonna come back with more ideas and this channel is not only going to be ChatGPT, I promise, it's just um, this is what I'm starting out with.